The 3DS eShop is closing this month, so I put a list together of some 3DS eShop exclusive games, meaning these are games you can only buy on the 3DS eShop. So the first game on this list is Harmon Knight. So this is a rhythm based game where you use the notes and the music to defeat the enemy. There's a lot of different characters that you team up with and they all have their own unique ability like archery and like swords and stuff like that. This is also developed by Game Freak which made Pokemon. So there's some Pokemon Easter eggs and references in here which gives some excitement to playing this game too when you try to find some Easter eggs. This game is definitely really unique. It has a really cool art style, 50 different levels and they all have their own unique boss fights. So this is definitely a game that you can spend a lot of time on and have a lot of fun. Number two, we got Denpamen. So this game I thought was really weird. I didn't really understand it at first. I thought that these were me characters flying around in the air, but these are actually Denpamen. That's what they're called. And they fly around and you catch them with your 3DS AR camera. It's finally a game that makes a good use out of the AR camera. No one ever uses it. But basically, you catch these different Denpamen, and every single Denpamen has their own skills and talents. They're all unique from each other, and they all look different. And you collect a team of different Denpamen to go through a bunch of explorations through, like, dungeons and forests and different islands and stuff. There are a lot of different islands on this game. Each island has, like, their own different draw to them and, like, their own features and everything. On one island, you could grow, like, fruits and stuff. It's called the Garden Island. There's definitely a lot of creativity behind this game, and it's really unique, and I think it's something that everybody should check out. It's definitely a game that looks weird at first, but... It has a lot of really unique features that I think people will love. Next up, I got Pokedex 3D Pro. So this is technically not a game, but I think it's something that is really cool and unique that people should download before it's too late and they don't have a chance anymore. So this is pretty much just the Pokedex, but it gives you a 3D like movable look around each Pokemon. And pretty much you can look at some in-depth stats about any Pokemon. So you can look at like future moves or moves that it could learn what level it evolves and stuff like that. You can learn about the different types of Pokemon and everything. And it's a really like obscure app that really no one talks about. I've honestly never heard of it until I found it while I was researching some eShop exclusives. So that's why I think that this is something that people should download before it's gone. Because once it's gone, you can't get this game, you know, unless you have a modded 3DS, of course, but you can't buy a physical copy of any of these games. So I know that this is not technically a game, but it's Pokemon related. And I think it's one of those quirky apps that could be like a real conversation starter one day. Next up, we got Attack of the Friday Monster. So this game is only $8, so it's pretty cheap, and it's based in Tokyo where the main character's family opened up a dry cleaner shop, and every single Friday, the monsters just appear out of nowhere. You collect different things called monster glims, not limbs, glims with a G. And once you reach a total of five different cards, then you could battle your friend in the game. And what these cards do, you get more information about monsters, giving you like a competitive advantage against your friends. It's kind of like a strategy, open world type of game in a way. It's definitely a really unique and different game, which is great. There's a lot to do with like family and friendships and stuff and, and about the innocence of being a child and everything. So it seems pretty cool. And I think this is a game that a lot of people really enjoy. So the last game on this list is Kirby Fighters Deluxe, which is basically an attack battle style game that's really similar to like Smash Bros and everything. So it's a game that people could probably pick up easily and they're pretty familiar with the style of it. And you have a different selection of like different abilities and weapons. You could be a ninja, you can have like a sword, a hammer. There's a lot of different like fighting aspects to this game that make it really unique. And you got like all these bright colors in the game. You can unlock rare hats and rare items and everything. There's also a lot of different game modes that you could play, and I feel like for $7, this game offers just hours and hours of fun that you can even, like, share it with your friends and everything. Like, there's a bunch of different arenas and everything, and this game is also based off of the Wild Battle mode that was introduced in the Kirby Triple Deluxe game. It's almost like kind of like a spin-off type of game, which is kind of exciting. So I definitely think that if you're a Kirby fan, you should pick this game up. So yeah, that's pretty much my list of some exclusive eShop games that you should download before it's too late. The eShop closes in like three weeks. So your time is kind of running out, but if you guys want to see another video, make sure to subscribe. I definitely want to make at least one or two more eShop exclusive or just 3DS games that you should buy in general type of videos. So hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment of what your favorite game on the 3DS is, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.